Let me come back. Welcome back, Mr. Rudy. We just finished eating our dinner, but uh, I'm following your uh, discussion. All right. Thank you. I am sorry to disturb you. <laughs> no, it's, it's just okay. hard to be a single parent. <laughs> okay. I understand. I can feel it. Okay. Now, you see, class takes no space because inside class we have only logic. Only logics. So, class is logical entity. It doesn't have physical entity. Now, object is end product. It's a product. The class has been implemented. Class is just planning, design, blueprint. And the blueprint design has been implemented creating object now it does have look very carefully it does have logic because from logic it has been created okay from logic it has been created so it does have logic i cannot write why it's not allowing me to type okay logic Welcome back, Ignatius. You see, okay. class takes no space, no space because it is only logics. Properties and methods are not logics. There is no object, so still it is logic. And that's why class is logical entity. It doesn't have physical existence, only logical existence, okay? And since it is created from logic, object, we have logics too. We have logic. So it is definitely logical entity. Same. Okay. Plus, Physical. when when it is created become an object and product you need also space to keep it right yes so when it is only logical entity only dropped design blueprints just a paint nothing else so it is logic but no physical entity you can keep it anywhere you don't need special space for it to keep the class you don't need space so when you're creating class actually it's actually not taking any space on your computer memory you understand it but yes. whenever you create object it takes space it does have logic plus when you implement the logic you have also physic. So it does have physical entity also. You understand me? Because it does have physical entity, you cannot now keep object in small space. You cannot keep it on your pocket now. You need a space for it. So object does have logic. Definitely when you are creating card, there is logic inside, inside the car. And also to keep the car, you need a garage. So it takes space, meaning it does have physical existence. But The draft, you can fold it, you can keep it anywhere. It doesn't take space. Say for example, blueprint of a car. 
you don't you don't need a garage to keep the blueprint right you can keep on your money back actually yes taking little bit space still it's not taking specific space but when a car is created from this logical entity can you keep a product and car Tesla car on your money back? No. No. You need to buy a land, piece of land to keep it. <laughs> Clear? Yes. That is why when you're creating object, actually it's taking space on your computer memory. It's taking a space on your computer memory. That is why when you're creating object, I showed you when I print the reference variable, it shows the path where it has been stored. Understand? Now, if you understand it, you understand programming language. If you don't understand it yet, that is why I'm going slow, you know? I want you to understand it. Yes, without understanding, you can work, but you will struggle every time. How these things are working, you will not understand what's going on behind the scene, okay? And you will come back again and again and waste your time. And at the end of the day, you actually will not enjoy programming. Can I ask you a question? Sure, sure, go ahead, sir. What does this thing represent? What? That's the uh, equals to plus an arrow. Yeah, this is nothing, it's just I'm showing. Okay. 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 Take no space, so it's logic and from logic, it is logical entity. It doesn't okay. make any sense. I just want to make it clear. Okay. 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 So object is both logical entity and physical entity. In the interview, some interviewers might ask you a question. What is logical entity and physical entity? Then you have to tell a uh, logical entity where we do have logic. Say for example, class is a blueprint, template design and class has a lot of logic inside of it. It has properties, it has method. And these are just a blueprint, template design. It's not end product. It's just dropped, raw. And from this blueprint, template, design, we can create end product and end product is the object. Since it is a draft, you can keep it anywhere. It doesn't take a lot of space, but once you implement the blueprint, the design or plan, once you implement, it becomes object and object takes space. Since it is created from logic, from class, it does have logical entity. At the same time, it takes a lot of space. So we cannot keep it anymore in a money bag or in a pocket or inside a book or inside drawer. It does need specific space. So it is also physical entity. If you have so many space, Ignatia, share it to us. Uh, if you Rudy, have big, if you have uh, big spaces, big spaces in your lot, in your house, share it to us. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Tell me. Mr. Rudy, how I can make all this a little smaller? I want 
this uh this uh computer not this computer i want this class method i want to make them smaller on the screen oh, on the screen how on i can make it smaller control minus control minus Let's see command minus on mac okay okay command minus command minus command minus command minus yes, it become smaller 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 Command plus plus will be plus will be bigger, 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 bigger. Okay. Clear. I want more space to write here, maybe longer program you have longer lines how i can make more space here control m control m command m in mm. macbook command m not command control m yes then i want to restore previous one how i can do it I'll make it smaller no I want to restore, meaning I want the Project Explorer project, I want to see it. You drag it to the right. If I drag it to the right, you see? Oh. I can uh, see the Project Explorer project. I want to see the project. Just again, press on Control M, you see? Oh, okay. It back, Control okay. M. It hides and make bigger space to write code or program. Control M. Control M. Same command. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I misunderstood. Okay. What, yeah, yeah. Is it clear now? Okay. Yeah, it, may, it makes a whole lot of sense. I think uh, it, you should have teach us this at the beginning because sometimes we get thrown out when you measure class and object and all these things. But now you teach us the fundamental. Actually, I you was did. trying to make the clear. And when yes. I find my students are not understanding, yes. then finally I came to this scenario just to make clear the concept yes i was trying to make you understand many ways and i failed and finally uh, i thought maybe if i draw some pictures <laughs> they will understand okay <laughs> <laughs> some visual visual aid you're right right okay maybe i'm not a good painter but i able to make you understand right okay anyway yes. i'm not a bad teacher no you're not <laughs> okay no no you know this is nothing but a blueprint this class is nothing but blueprint in the planning stage it's just a draft it doesn't yes. take any space. Yes. Yes. Okay. It doesn't take any space on your computer. Though it seems it's taking a lot of space. Actually, it's not taking until you create an object. Okay. Let me yes. take a human class, very basic, to make you understand human class. Mr. Rudy, tell me, what is this double slash? What does it mean? Mm, I see. You are looking at the nodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is double slash in programming, in Java programming? 
This is comments. We call it single line comments. Comments. What does it mean? Comment meaning this line will not execute it. You are telling the Java program, hey Java, don't print it. Don't run it. Don't execute it. Just overlook it. You don't need to look at it. Okay. Why we use comment? Just to keep notes. You can keep note for yourself or you can keep note for your fellow software development engineer in test. Fellow engineers. Okay. You just tell what you are doing here. Or to teach the students, you can make comment. Single line comment mean this single line will not be executed. Okay, single line comment to make comments or or make note. Not make note. I can say keep notes. Clear. Now, sometimes while we program a lot, we need to also write a lot of notes. Then we just put a slash, single slash, then star. You see, star, star. Then press enter automatically another star and star slash will be generated and you can write here this is we call multi-line comments meaning you can write multi-line notes Okay, you can say class is a blueprint design template, just planning. Okay, and many more. Some people might say forma, format, and many more, maybe more synonyms. Clear? Yes or no? So, it is just logical entity and object created from class. It is an implementation of the class or blueprint. That is why it is both logical plus physical entity. Clear? Now you know what is single line comments in Java and multi line comments, right? These are not interview questions, but some silly interviewers might ask you, hey, are you familiar with single line comment and uh, what is comment in Java? Then you can say, in Java, when we want to keep a note for fellow developers or want to explain what I'm doing, we use comments. Comments are two types. One is single line, another one is multi-line. Single lines are with double slashes. Multi-line is slash star, then star 
slash start with slash star end with star slash understand okay okay now definitely we have plan in logic in class human okay now human is class but end product is human one human two human three human four human five it can be rudy it can be bab it can be ignatius it can be hima it can be juma it can be uh louis it can be victor it can be Leonard, it can be Vincent, it can be Anishul, okay? So, now, come to the point. So, now, we want some properties. We call it variable also, attributes, fields, okay? And this human being, Say so for human being, you can have name, and name is Rudy. Say so for example, okay? Now, name is variable, that can be varied actually. You can say first name, you can say full name, it really doesn't matter, you can say full meaning F name, okay, F name, meaning first name, okay, starting with small, always small, okay, uh, variable cannot start with capital cap, remember, and what type of data is Rudy? You are storing this Rudy inside first name, app name variable, what type of data? Now, before the variable, name the data. It is string, right? Just type string. Now, interviewer might ask you a question. How do you declare variable? So what I'm doing here, I'm declaring variable, you see? I'm just telling this is a variable and it is just, I, I declare name of the variable is F name and declare and I define what will be inside the name. I define, I define means Finally, I decided what it will be. So this is declaration, declare, and this is define. Declaring variable, what type of variable? Variable type is string. And what will be inside this variable? Rudy, we define it, we finalize it. It will be Rudy not Ignatius. You understand? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Now, we understand this human being. We are going to create some human beings here. Object. Object will be inside main method, okay? To access all these properties, we need to create object, okay? From this class. And it can have age. So it is integer, int, age. And this guy's age is 27. Okay, set for example. And this guy can have also salary. So we say sell in U S T. Say for example, and this guy is making 105K. All 
All right. And Rudy can have now more properties, maybe hundred properties, hundred, maybe thousand. You never know. Okay. So what are these? These are states. Okay, states. And states are called properties. Okay, properties. What else? Attributes and fields. Fields. Okay. Now, Rudy or human, whatever, human class. Object or class, especially object. Ob object can have only two characters. One is states, another one is behavior. Okay, behavior. So behavior. Behaviors are action. These behaviors are, we call it in programming methods. After methods, we put Action. Parenthesis, oh. yes. Action. So methods and methods are called also function. Functions. And functions are action. Actions, okay? In Java, we say, this is method. In Python, we say functions, but method behavior okay now behavior you know now just just type void is actually to create method we need a void keyword okay void void you know void void means what when you void a check can you get money no cancel so you are telling it's void, meaning it cannot return any value. Now, okay. what is a return? We will see later. Okay, we will see that gentleman. What does return keyword do? Void meaning you cannot use return keyword. Just remember it. Void meaning cancel. No return. Okay. And we know human being, what can they do? They can eat. This is action, you see? Action verb, then parenthesis, okay? And method does have scope. You see, scope meaning it does have specific area and it does have some power inside of it. In outside of it, it cannot do anything. So method is block of code. We call it method. This is the definition of method. Method is a block of code. It can be also codes that only executes when, it, when it is called by name. You have to call it by name. You have to call it. If you don't call, it will not respond. It will not work. It will not function. It will not act. Understand? Do you actually have to call it by a mouth or just have it in mind is? Yeah, you have to call it by name. You have to call it eat method. You have to okay. copy and call here. Okay? okay. Now, okay, we have 10 minutes more. Okay, then we will go and take another break. Okay, now eat. We can see, we can see system dot 
You see, system is a class in Java. This is inbuilt class, inbuilt class, inbuilt class. And when I just use system class and dot operator, it's giving me option, lot of option. What you want to do, what you want to choose, okay? It's giving us option. System, we want to tell the system it is created from system, you see? System is the class, out, meaning I'm telling system, hey system, show me some output and print them by line by line. Ellen meaning line. I showed you what it will happen if you don't put Ellen, right? Yes. Okay. Now you can say we love eating. The statement can be anything. Okay. And you just can just copy command C then command V, command V, <clears throat> just to make it little better, okay? And in real world, we just copy to create another method. We want to save time. We copy and paste, you see? When I copy and paste, there is red mark, red mark, why? Read, it says duplicate method eat in type human. Meaning human class have duplicate method eat. Eat method is duplicate, double. In Java usually does not allow <clears throat> duplicate methods. You cannot use same method name. So, it should be different. So I just say drink. Now error gun, understand? Mm -hmm. Now just change, we love drinking. You see, drinking. So I am saving a lot of time, okay? I am saving a lot of time and just I copy this, okay, and just paste it here, okay. Thus, we save time, okay. I say it in software development engineering, 80% we copy, 20% we code. 80% we copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And another 20% we program, we code. Mm -hmm. Clear? Now again, we never know how many methods we do need in our program. If we need more, just copy and paste and name it. Like maybe it is dance. That's it. And it will be definitely dancing, right? Mm -hmm. And now just copy dancing, copy dancing, paste it. Thus you are saving time. So you have to learn how to save time. You will find in the project, some will be just taking 10 days to complete a framework. Some engineers just within three days complete it. Maybe you are making in just one day because you know how to copy and paste better than others. You got my point? Yes. It makes sense? It does. Fantastic. Fantastic. You are going to become a good programmer, good QA, full stack QA engineer, good software we'll development that. engineer in test, okay? And mm. definitely one who better engineer, make better. 
থাকে ঠিক আছে you create object with a new keyword come on what the hell going on on my computer okay just you see new keyword and name of the class is human parenthesis and semicolon this is a new object now from where i am getting this new object i am getting this new object from human class okay and i want a reference variable this is say for example human 1 it can be a name too but remember this reference variable is referring to this new object okay and and it is not object but it is referring to the new object meaning you store this object inside human one so when you open human one actually you getting the space where you storing this object it doesn't make sense yet i know i know but now let me make it sense system dot out dot print ln okay i want to print this one this is variable so i don't need inverted comma look when i print it it's not printing new human rather it is telling where it is stored you see it's stored inside java basic where is java basic java basic java basic dot human java basic dot human meaning this human is class and it is stored in somewhere on my computer and its path is 7f b e a 4c 7c okay now come on still it doesn't make sense what the hell are you doing mr bab okay so uh, let me take another create another object now ignatius will be telling me Hey, mister, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God. 